Speaking of, continuous glucose monitors. Oh, Oh, CGMs. This (laughs) freaking nonsense right now Mm. that people are going off on. Dude, people are doing the dumbest shit with continuous glucose monitors. They're taking these glucose monitors, putting them on, having a meal. Maybe they, they, maybe not even a whole meal. They'll just like, oh, I'm going to have fruit or I'm going to have like this, this tortilla or whatever it is. They see their glucose spike and then they say, see, <laughs> Bro, that's this- what's fucking normal. Your body's supposed to do that. And then it comes back down to normal levels. Congratulations. You've just monitored a healthy glucose response. You've done literally nothing productive for anybody here. Well, I don't. I've seen this too. I actually haven't seen it in a while, but when I was in a real TikTok phase, there was this one dude who was doing that and everyone in the comments is like, do this food, do this food, do this food. And that was like, each TikTok was like, I'm going to test out X food with my continuous glucose monitor and then posted the response. And what I always failed to understand was like, you're making this leap in saying that when you, you have higher glucose in the bloodstream, temporarily that that's a bad thing like like that never was stated or addressed and it was inferred by literally 95 percent of the people in the comments that like spike in blood sugar is bad try this food see if it spikes my blood sugar because if it does i don't want to eat that food it's like okay then you're just not going to eat carbohydrate ever which nothing subpar life strategy for many reasons but it was never even addressed it was never even there was never even a thesis as to why any spike in blood glucose is a bad thing. Yeah, there there are huge accounts that that's their entire entire thesis is that you would never want to spike your blood glucose. Like any spike in blood glucose is ex- essentially a, a death sentence. Like never ever spike your blood glucose ever, and uh, and like you're gonna what? get fat and it's terrible for you. They, that's just what the fuck they say, and people eat it up. They love it. And I was watching them like what you're what you're seeing here is a normal healthy response to eating this type of food not to mention like if you if you just have this one food like i've saw i've seen one guy do it with like tortillas i'm like are you just eating a tortilla by itself on number one even if you are fine number two are you regularly just eating tortillas Mm -hmm. (laughs) <laughs> like, because like, what if you measured your blood glucose response if you have a tortilla with meat and beans and rice and avocado and all this stuff in there, that's going to change it. But even e- that stuff is even aside, beside the point, because if we look at over the long term, over a month of someone having continuous glucose spikes, then going back down to normal and their calories are in check, the fuck do you think is going to happen? Mm hmm. Idiots. Well, your Idiots. Pan- your pancreas is going to release insulin, and that insulin is going to pull that glucose out of the bloodstream, and that's that's how things work. I mean, to try and play devil's advocate, or like tr- to try and defend an idea that I don't agree with, some people who are very overweight, like clients of mine I've had who are very overweight and have poor insulin sensitivity, I'm going to have. It will generally do better on a little bit lower carb diet, right? I'm not going to put them on like, on like the the macros I'm on right now with high carb, low fat. But that's that's a minority of the population. That's like a it's a an intricate detail that falls below the fact that total calorie intake is the most important thing for losing body fat. Like to focus all of this energy on certain foods that spike blood glucose, I, I just don't understand the bottom line. Yeah, not to mention just like you were saying if they just reduce their total calories as a part of that reduction in calories, carbs would be reduced as well, but reduce your calories, reduce your energy intake, and you're going to lose weight. And then you'll become more insulin sensitive. 